Hello, and welcome to episode three of our Race Across America. Right now, we're six hours into our second day, and we've just started to make our way out of Alaska. Michelle and I are currently in the air on a flight from Anchorage all the way to Seattle, Washington. We already earned a 400-mile car and a 450-mile flight in Alaska, giving us plenty of options out of Seattle when we land. Ben and Adam, however, only just landed in Anchorage on their delayed flight from Ukiavik. To make matters worse, the last flight of the day from Anchorage to any other state, that is, this flight to Seattle, leaves in just 34 minutes and it's too close to departure to buy a ticket online. That means that Ben and Adam have no choice but to go to the gate and beg the airline to sell them a ticket. Otherwise, they'll be stuck in Alaska for the rest of the day. Hi. Hi. Is there any chance it's still possible to book a ticket on this flight? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, don't think so. Um, when I get done working awesome. the flight, if I have time, we can. If not, then we'll uh, continue for the 4 o'clock. Um, yeah, it's ve what I'm doing is so stupid, but I'm in a race against another team. I can't take the four. I have to take this one or else I'm stuck here all day. If there's any way that you could help okay. us out. Can I get done of course, yes, ma'am. She said she has to finish checking in the flight and then she'll see. So we'll see. Okay. Now that we have some time, I think it's time for the Zodiac Zone. Because we can't leave things up to chance. We leave them up to the stars. It says that Sam and I can comfort each other in times of anxiety. Come in, let's see Adam. Oh, I can't pull up Adam's. That's all we have for today. We'll see what tomorrow holds. Zodiac Zone. under 30 minutes now. So I think the system might not even allow it. Okay, so you don't have a ticket at all? No, ma'am. Two passengers? Yes, ma'am. The four o'clock flight's the only one that comes up. There's no possible way to get us on this one. No one you could call or... Four o'clock flight and then put you on Okay. Sure, yeah, if you can put it on standby for this one, if that would let us get on, that would be great. Yes, of course. We can get on? We can get on this? Yeah. Thank you so, so much. We can, we can, we can. Thank you so, so much. I'm sorry, I know what we're doing is really dumb, but we really appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I really can't believe that that worked. Uh, thank you so much to Julie, who uh, did not seem amused by our bullshit, but ultimately, uh, saved our ass. And now, we're both gonna be in Seattle. So, we'll see you in Seattle. Let's go! To Seattle. Yeah. We're here. It's raining. I'm terrified. Good news. We're in Seattle. And Ben and Adam are not. Bad news. 
We expected them to miss their connection. Because their flight, first flight was delayed. And I don't know how they would have made that because we checked a bajillion times. You cannot book a Delta flight within 45 minutes. And they landed within 45 minutes of it. And I guess the reason why we think that happened is because we have heard nothing from them. And they should have had plenty of time to do challenges and all the incentive to do challenges. Right. So I don't know how they would have I'm done that. This is what I'm telling you. It is Scorpio season and Adam is a Scorpio. This is the kind of I stuff that happens. I don't know if the Delta reservation system listens to Scorpio season. The good news is, though, that leaves us with some pretty good challenges to do in the next two hours. I mean, I think the one that we want is really that random card. Yeah, it's not on the it's not on the board yet, so we've got to complete everything else until it is, pretty much. Okay, so just so we're clear, this is our plan. Each day, there's a different deck that new tickets are drawn from, and Michelle, being Michelle, has memorized every single ticket in every day's deck. On our flight to Seattle, we realize that there's only one more powerful ticket in today's deck, the 600-mile flight on a random airline, and we'd be able to earn it pretty easily because one of the spots on the random places map is in Seattle. So we're going to try to burn through easy challenges on the flop until that ticket it comes up, allowing us to grab it while Ben and Adam are in the air. First up, face cookie. Put a cookie on your forehead and get it in your mouth without using your hands. Okay, cookies secured. Ah, a casual uh, $13. Jesus Christ. All right, let's find a relatively inconspicuous spot. Okay, do you want a vanilla sprinkle or a chocolate chip? Well, let's try different tactics and see if it, okay. one works better than the other. Nope. Oh. I think mean, you gotta be gentle. Oh. oh my god, these people want. Oh. I'm on my eye. The nose is what's tough. I'm on my eye. Okay, I'm blinking it down. I'm blinking it down. Okay, watch, watch out. You're you're leaning a lot, so you gotta be <laughs> careful here. Not too much, um... <laughs> That's pretty good. No, a little bit this way. Yeah, a little bit this way. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. The tongue trick, no, more out, more out, more that way. <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Oh, my God. That's, oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God, I just touched Yeah, oh towards, towards here. A little bit more, a little bit more, I think. This, this way, this way, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, uh, let's call them. See if they pick up, I guess. Oh, it's it's, a, it's just a procedural step. We don't expect them to pick up, but this does. It confirms they're on the plane. Which I really don't understand how they did that. Okay. Let's do the flop. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big... Oh, there we go! <laughs> 600 mile flight on a random airline. Go somewhere, hashtag random. Go anywhere on our list of hashtag random places. Spend at least 15 minutes being hashtag random there. Once completed, randomly generate a number between one and seven to determine which airline you can fly on with this ticket. Let's go! All right, okay, so off to Artie McPhee's. Right there. Yeah. Come on, Sam. Slay. This was the right tactic. Let's go! Yes. yes. Thank you. Archie McPhee. So all we have to do is visit, but I figure we should, uh, should at least buy a thing. We should yeah. find something to buy. We could do a silly random montage and Maybe. We'll dance. Montages can be expensive, though. Why? A lot of editing time. Oh. We gotta sync it up to the music. I think Ben and Adam are down for a montage, right? Right, right, right. Montage. Well, I mean, Okay, this will be Adam, then we need a band. Kind of give 
Horus band vibes. So with all the talk of horoscopes this week, I think it's time to get a scientific answer on how this week is going to go. So let's find out. Now seems like a good time to reevaluate who you choose to spend your time with. This does not bode well. Michelle. I think we've been doing excellently as a partner. Ship, right? What? All right. Solid day. Yeah. Good day. Solid. We made some ground. Uh, ben and Adam had some 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 L's, some W's. But, Major uh, W's for Ben and Adam, yeah, obviously. I really still don't understand how I that don't happened. get it. It looks just like Seattle. Feel that, it's like tropical relative uh, to our previous situation. Welcome what? to Seattle, are you ready? Yeah, you took such a long pause. Let's take a look at what has happened. Okay, two videos. Here's the first one. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. We have no idea how you made that flight, but uh, <laughs> congrats. Oh, face cookie. Okay. So they That's got, fine. They I got a car from that. I that looks an like Adam. we come to you from Artie McPhee's. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's Where the random airline. 15 very airline. random minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. interesting thing about that flight is it could end up being very, very useful for them, but it could also end, up being, end up being useless. Not that yeah. useful at all. Um, the other thing we need to do is we need to figure out which airline we get. Oh my god. This is the this is the craziest part of it. Oh my god. Yeah, how, so how do we do that? You need a random number one through seven. One. One? What's one? American, that's pretty good. It's a big airline. Nicely done. Sure, let's go! Yeah. yeah. One of the big three, that's what we want. Here's what I really think the situation is. I think the real situation is we need to be in a good spot, ready for ch to do challenges the moment that the flop happens tomorrow yeah. morning. Okay, do you know where we're going? No. All right, what now? I think now it's time to strategically position ourselves for tomorrow. It's just turned seven. Yeah, at 7 p.m. we are at the rideshare pickup at Seattle Tacoma. I think it's gonna get bloody tomorrow. Day three, the tickets become much more powerful. If this is the end of an episode, maybe it's the middle of an episode. If it's the end of an episode, I'm saying next episode's gonna be really exciting. If it's the middle of an episode, I'm gonna say, you know, the next part of this episode is gonna be pretty exciting. I think both of those great points. Good night. Good night. Good news. It is 7 p.m. and our day is done, which means we can get food. That's the most exciting Yay! part. Yay! Good night. See you tomorrow. Now we're heading into day three, and teams are neck and neck. But that could change quickly. The day three deck contains some of the game's most powerful tickets, like this one that lets you steal an opponent's ticket, or the non-stop flight to Denver that teams can earn by running a drunk mile. That ticket is why we positioned ourselves outside this Safeway in case we need to get liquor first thing in the morning. Securing one of these tickets could mean the difference between pulling way ahead or falling far behind. So now let's fast forward to tomorrow morning and see what tickets are available. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's 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 do a flop. Okay. All right. Our first card is... A 600-mile flight to a city starting with G-U-Y-F-I-E or R. If you visit a diner, drive in or dive. Our a second card. A 300-mile car for wearing too much denim. An 800-mile train. If you write a word on Strava, an 800-mile flight to a neighboring state if you are a great neighbor. There's your flop for this morning. Okay, bye. We See miss you, you, Michelle. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Gosh, dang it. Okay, we've got Guy Fieri. That's a terrible flop. Yeah. Okay, so obviously... We're gonna want to do the neighbor we one. We need to do the neighbor one. Yeah. Freaking a sap. So, like, Guy Fieri, 
I don't think we can do it this hour. Do you want me to check? Maybe quickly, but... Um, and then the great neighbor. The, that, the Goodwills aren't going to be open for a few hours, Correct. I think. Is the Goodwill open? My guess is no. And the answer is, in fact, no. That's a great point. Those are all extremely th hard things to do at 6 a.m. But that's probably good for us because it's a bad flop, so we can make progress while they're stuck here dealing with a bad flop. Uh, how about you check Guy Fieri? I'll check the first flight to Boise. Are there any Guy Fieri locations? No, these are all closed. What about Slim's Last Chance Chili Shake and Watering Hole? Chili Shake Watering Hole. Vula's Offshore Cafe. It's open. It's open. Vuola's Offshore Cafe is open. Oh, should we go? It seems to be actually quite far. The problem is, if they're going for that one too, I um, think they're closer. But is that worth it? Because that, that's a pretty conditional card. Oh. What are any cities that start with Guy Fieri? Yakima, Eugene, Reno. Could fly to Reno. Does Seattle even have flights to Reno? I bet it does. Okay, I think that actually is the better move. Okay, so there's a, there's a <laughs> 7.35 to Boise, so we would have to go. I, I don't think we have time to research. We basically need to decide now if we're gonna take that flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting us a, an Uber to Vuola's Offshore Cafe, and I just have to hope that they're not also headed there. <laughs> right? Yeah. We need to we just need to decide. Do it. Let's do it. Airport. Is that what your gut's telling you? I think so. Lock it in. Lock it in. Great. Hey, for Sam. How's it going? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Good. Good. How are you? Thank you. Have a good one. The good news is, if anything really quick comes up, we might be able to do it in here. <gasps> so we should, you know, finger on the trick. Wait, I shouldn't say that in an airport. Well, Ben, I'll go ahead and tell you, I don't see them. Okay, that's a good sign. Good morning. Hi. Hello, and welcome to Vola's Offshore Cafe, where Guy Fieri went in a in an incredible episode of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. The, the menu has a section of the things the Guy Fieri ate, actually. So this is super convenient. Which one do we want? All of these are gonna make us feel awful. Yeah. So I was looking at things. Basically, there are three good places we could fly with this card. Reno, Nevada, Idaho Falls, Iowa, and Great Falls, uh, Montana. Probably the first two. Probably the first two. Basically, right now, two leading theories. Leading theory one, we fly to Idaho Falls, starting with I, um, and then drive three hours to Salt Lake City, then figure it out from there. It's not a bad move. I mean, frankly, if we even if we ended the day in Salt Lake City, that I'd, wouldn't be, be, that I'd bad. be pretty happy. It wouldn't be that bad. Option two, we fly to Reno, and we get on a train overnight that could shoot us out in Green River, Utah, so Eastern Utah. Which is a little bit the middle of nowhere, and that kind of scares us. It does scare me, I'll tell you. To tell you that it scares me. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna see. First things first, let's eat this pancake. Top secret talk time. We have made it to Seattle Airport. We have! It was very quick and efficient, actually. No word from them yet. I, I have to imagine, based on that, they're probably trying to do the Guy Fieri one. I think so. This diner has been featured on one show, but now it's about to be featured on a second, even better show. I'm Ben Doyle, and this is the Snack is Zone, the snack baby! Zone. Today on the Snack Zone, we're eating a Chinese pancake. Oh, what this is, is it's a pancake with ham in it. Our deal is we're going to Boise. We'll get there basically at 9 a.m. Seattle time, which is when a lot of things open anyway. Yeah. It'll be 10 a.m. there, so Perfect. even more things will be open. Um, so like, yeah, like 
Goodwills and stuff will be open Goodwill, there. Yeah, so we should look into locations. Girl, I got some Goodwills in Boise, let me tell you, because I did my spreadsheet. Hey. How do you feel with the whiplash of learning that you're going to Boise with an hour's notice? I love it. I love every second of this. I'm having the time of my life. It's crazy. It's like if I eat any faster, I'll throw up. Don't do that. I will get through this pancake. You know what, for this last little bite, let's get a little syrup on here. Adam, what's your review? That was a pancake with ham in it, for sure. I feel like I ate the pancake so fast that I didn't even really taste it or know what it tasted like, but I'm sure it's great. Anyway, let's call them. Hello. Hello, we are at a delicious, a wonderful breakfast cafe where we have just eaten what Guy Fieri ate. In Seattle, right? Oh yes, and we're in beautiful Seattle, Washington. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, well, let's see what's next on the flop, shall we? Okay. Okay, I'm waiting to see what the flop is. Oh my is. god, the, if the drug mile comes up before we board this flight. Yeah, we decide in like 10 seconds. Is C or C is welcome to Our board. flight is boarding, but depending on what comes up in the flop, we may not get on this plane. The next card on the flop is. 400 mile car. Explain the birds and the bees to a bird or a bee. The explanation must be at least 20 seconds. You must be within at least three feet of the bird or bee while explaining. It's a 300 mile car, pretty useless. Bugs, we can't do that. And it's a car. So let's go board. That's good, that's good for us. And honestly, that could not probably be a better flop. Because like we don't want in our situation. Yeah, we don't want cards. They can't do the other ones super easily, at least the good stuff. Now, All right, so now let's take a look. So this is interesting. There are two cars, a train and the uh -huh. neighboring state flight, which is a good flight. And it's a good flight. I mean, can we just triple check that there's no there's nothing like a goodwill yeah. or anything? There very well might be. Oh, there's a goodwill that opens at eight. Ooh, where? Uh, the Seattle Outlet Goodwill. And that's back towards the airport anyway. Back towards the airport anyway. 12 minute drive, easy. Okay, we're gonna go to the Goodwill. I think we'll have to wait for a little bit for it to open, but then we can speed through and do this challenge, hopefully yeah. real quick. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Bye. I'm not sure what people other than us in this situation line up early for the Goodwill, but... Okie dokie, we've made it to the Goodwill, um, but they told us that we could not film in there or bring our backpacks in there. We've sent Adam in uh, to go rustle around for red sweaters and ties. Uh, we chose me to stay with the backpacks because obviously I am uh, the strongest and most powerful, therefore I can defend the backpacks better than Adam. Okay, uh, we clearly stumbled into a world we were not aware existed. No? Um, it was insane in there. It was insane in there? You were, like, everybody got, like, stationed and there was like a countdown. And so when you were allowed to, to like get stuff and then everybody just started going nuts, like grabbing things and putting them in their cart. I don't know what they were looking for. This, these two sweaters and ties was $2.64. That's awesome. Okay, let's put them on. You take the big side, put it over the little side and then loop it. No, you no. It out. Take the big side. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Oh, these are these are very petite. Yeah, that one this can is, be mine. This is like for a dog. Yeah. 
Yeah. As, as long as it's on me. Ugh. Are you ready to be a good neighbor? I feel like the spitting image of Mr. Oh, Rogers. Oh, Fred Rogers himself? Yes. Um, fortunately, Adam, I have great news. There's a lot of trash around here. Great. Well, this will be really easy. We have to pick up 10 pieces, and we actually should hurry, because if they are competing for this, I don't want them to get it. We've decided to spread uh, disinformation. <laughs> it's all about psychological warfare, right? It is. I think this is this is going to be a tactic moving forward. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Or should I give context? Nah, it's fine. Trash. All right. Now that's one piece of trash right there. Oh, there's a cup here. Yep. Two. Seven. This is a, a bag of, of dog poop, I think. I don't know what this is. 10. Look, here we, We've we done did it. it. Now we have to find a trash can. We do have to find a trash can. We should have started with that. That's compost. Here's garbage. We've done it. Well, now we have to we have to donate these now, though. Oh, right. To a different Goodwill. OK. Uh -uh. Thank you. I think we can just put them. Put them in here. OK. Put them right in. OK, well. We've done it. All right, let's call them. have received a video. They just landed. Let's see what happened. Oh, hello, hello Sam what's and Mich up? What? I don't know. Uh, we've just been really good neighbors. Oh, no. And claimed an 800-mile flight to a neighboring state. Anyway, enjoy flying to wherever stupid place you're flying. <laughs> OK, um, let's look at the flop. All right, time for new the flop, ticket, Ben. New ticket, new ticket, new ticket. 600-mile flight on a small aircraft. Make a giant roadside object look small. Visit one of America's giant roadside objects according to our map. Take a photo that uses forced perspective to make it look little. Six hundred mile, mile flight, flight on a small, small aircraft. aircraft. Now that is a pretty, pretty good one. I mean, the challenge is a little, well, actually, no, I think that there is a giant roadside object in Seattle. The world's largest cowboy hat and boots. I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> the real question is, we've got a couple, we've got a full hand right now. Yeah. We, and so if we want to earn any more tickets, we've got to use one. Right. So now is kind of the time to decide where we're going. Here's their plan. Ben and Adam are going to use their Guy Fieri ticket to take the 12 p.m. flight to Idaho Falls and drive from there to Jackson, Wyoming, where they can take a flight in the morning using their neighboring state ticket to get all the way to Denver. Michelle and I, meanwhile, don't have many great options out of Boise, so after we landed, we started burning through tickets on the flop to get something good to pop up. We started by attempting to write a legible four-letter word by running around on Strava, but I had a bit of trouble writing roll. Pony. No. Uh. Anyway, on the way to the airport, Ben and Adam decided to stop at the giant hat and boots to quickly snag the flight on a small aircraft. Adam, Adam. No, and we'll, I will be... play like cowboy music, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, get, get closer so you can be the cowboy. No, you're too small to be a cowboy right I know, now. I have to be way closer to you. Do a cowboy expression. Is this what cowboys would do? I think so. Say what you're hungry for. Beans. Yeah, yeah, no, that's working. It looks like I'm wearing the boots? Yeah. Yeehaw! You're, you're, you're swirling me with force. Well, like a cowboy. this ticket to pop up, which would be good in states like California or Texas, but neither team wanted it. 
Okay. Okay. I don't think that's the best car. No, 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 no. So no, no, let's no. see what we let's see if you can we can complete this right now. We are no longer going to be going through California because we're going to go through Idaho, and I don't want to go all the way south to Texas. Okay. Stick to the plan. That meant we had to keep trying for a better ticket, so we went out into the city to try the Strava challenge again, and Michelle set out to write the word acid. Done. Hopefully Sam gets that that spells acid. I'm ready. Okay, is it looking good? It's good. Oh, that looks pretty clear. Is it acid? It's acid! Yes! Nice job. Challenge right. complete. Let's, Graphic. Let's give, let's give the boys a call. <laughs> What do you want? Hello. We have just spelled the word acid on Strava in Boise, Idaho. Let's learn the new flop. 1,000 mile flight to or from an airport above 5,500 feet. Live like you were dying. Go skydiving, rocky mountain climbing, or spend 2.7 seconds on a bull. Indoor skydiving and mechanical bulls qualify. Rocky mountain climbing is defined as laterally climbing 20 consecutive feet while at least two feet off the ground on a natural feature anywhere in the Rocky Mountains. Okay, new card on the flop. That's okay, now this one is interesting. Flight. I would really like to get it to stop them from getting it. Should this we go do that? Really should we go, do that? Call the Uber. Okay. This is so exciting. Oh my okay, God. Okay, so should I go to that climbing area? I think so, right? Yeah. Um, Rocky Mountain climbing. Here we go. Cliffs rock climbing. Uh, we're not in the Rocky Mountains. Is 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 Idaho Falls in the Rocky Mountains? I think a lot of Idaho has Rocky Mountains. This is great. I mean, a 17-minute drive to a rock climbing spot, and we're oh in the God, Rocky Mountain this region. Perfect. Hey, for Sam. Hey, how's it going? Where is the nearest indoor skydiving? There is there is an indoor skydiving place in Seattle. Oh, we're really close to it. We're like really close to it, then. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay. You've got to be really quick because there's a chance they're trying to do this challenge too. Seriously? Well, yeah. I mean, that's a good one. The only one they can do is the indoor skydiving. It's yeah, not but you open. can do that. Oh, it's not open? Oh, no, well. it opens at noon. No, it doesn't open till noon. Shoot. I looked, I looked for mechanical bulls. I don't okay, know. What about them. Bourbon Jack's Honky Tonk Grill? Does it have a bull? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bourbon Jack's Honky Tonk Grill has a bull. Hi, sorry, we're gonna change the place that we're going, if that's okay. This is awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy that this is just like, it was like a 15 minute drive from a random Albertsons. Yeah. Oh God. You gotta pick the easiest looking okay. spot. Yeah. This one? Okay. How is this not climbing already? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It says wait. the mechanical bull might be gone. Oh. Hey there, do you guys still have that mechanical bull? Oh, okay. So there's no way to like ride it. Okay, great. Thank you. No. That's a no from Bourbon Jack's uh, Honky Tonk Bar, uh, Honky Tonk Grill. And oh. they call themselves a Honky Tonk Bar and Grill. Let me keep looking though. <sighs> this is precarious. Yeah. It's not great this way. Yeah, this looks pretty tough. Yeah. We're in like the worst gear. Yeah. We don't have shoes or anything. It's looking a little bit better over here. Mechanical bowl, mechanical bowl. Just don't look too far from the airport because it's going to make no, it I know, I know, I know. harder to pull off. I know, I know. What time your flight is? Uh, uh, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing a stupid thing. <laughs> yeah. This, this is, looks better, yeah. Yeah, this is looking better. Okay. If we sort of just like. Oh went across this, across and up. Ooh, the f <laughs> Do you want me to give that a shot? Yeah. Let's okay. see it, Colorado man. All right, is this two feet up? Oh, far, far beyond. Okay, I'm gonna start good. going laterally. It's very slippery. I think if we could get it, we should, but I seem, seemingly we can't. I'm just worried also that the, uh, if the nonstop to Denver shows up and while we're in the air, could. Certainly could. It's a real risk. Okay. All right. Welcome back to Seattle, Tacoma. I think we should, yeah, like, this, get this through way. and go to, like, where there's, like, duty-free alcohol. That's pretty good. 
Sam started here and is all the way here. I think that's 20 feet. Let me just go over there to be sure. Sam, I think you have lived like you are dying. Let me live like I'm dying slightly more. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, is that good? That is beyond. Let's inform Ben and Adam. Woo! Let's go! Oh, they're calling us. Tell me they didn't go Rocky Mountain climbing. Sounds like you know where we are. Did you uh, did you go Rocky Mountain climbing in the Rocky Mountains? We did! Yes, sucks. yes, you, of course you did. Of course you did. You ready sucks. for a flop? Yeah. Flop it up. Right. Okay. Flop it up. 400 mile car. Fund the military industrial complex. Spend money in any way that you can prove funds the United States military industrial complex. This money cannot be spent online. All right, well, goodbye. Bye! Disaster averted for now. Uh, they, again, like, they can burn through challenges all they want, but they're still in Boise. I imagine they have some very specific flight they want to be taking. But they've been there for a long time. Hopefully they're just not able to accomplish much while we're in the air. So let's look while we're at it about yeah. the military industrial complex. Here's the thing, the list that we got of stuff that is military industrial complex is massive. Raytheon, we could get like an air defense system. Uh-huh. Hmm, John Deere is one. There has to be like a John Deere. Probably, yeah. Home Depot. Hey, for Sam. Pro tip, the best airport restaurant that I have yet found is the Beecher's Cheese Shop that is in the Seattle Tacoma Airport. I discovered them because I started buying their very expensive frozen mac and cheese at Whole Foods. And then it turns out it's also a real place at this airport. I have to take my incredible lactate pill. Mmm, the delicious taste of lactate. Okay, we're at Home Depot. Oh, engine oil, that's what it was. John Deere <laughs> Yay! Turf Guard engine oil. We're gonna buy this and then we're gonna FaceTime them and yes. if they don't respond, they're probably on a plane. Us. We're just over here trying we to enjoy our mac and your cheese bullshit. at the airport, and you keep calling us. What do you want? We have fun at the military industrial complex. Wait. I guarantee you there were easier ways that you could have done that, but we're not going to tell you what they were. New flop. Big flop date. 450 mile flight. Become a pumpkin parent. Acquire a full size live pumpkin at least 12 inches in width at some point. You must travel with the pumpkin for the next six hours. If you are not in possession of the pumpkin after six hours, your opponents may steal any card from your hand. 450 flight pumpkin parent. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> well, okay, that's not exactly what we need, but we can get it really quickly. Uh, we can, but we have to carry it for six hours. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I already see pumpkins. That one looks healthy. And it's not too tall, which is nice. It only has to be 12 in one direction. Perfect. Grab it. Grab it. There we go. <laughs> How do you feel about our new child, Sam? I love it. <laughs> They're gonna be so mad. We're getting a call. <sighs> what do we do if the Denver one shows up? Do we just leave the airport? I, I don't know. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You wanna know what her name is? Ben. Okay, that's creepy that you did that. Well, you're, look at your outfit. That's true, I am looking very pumpkin-esque. Yeah. Another flop? Another flop. 
Non-stop flight to Denver. Do a mile drunk, not high. Run a mile. For each quarter mile, you must drink one quarter the amount of alcohol that would get a player legally drunk. Uh-oh. <gasps> Bye. Bye. Go, 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 go. Shit. Okay, shoot, okay, shoot, okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I think we gotta, we have to try it. We have to. <sighs> I think we're gonna miss our flight. This is the ticket everybody wants. This is it. I can go to the airport, find it, find alcohol, find alcohol, find alcohol. One of the teams is gonna make it to Denver. Who knows who? Except for all the people on Nebula, of course, because they've already watched uh, episode four. It's out right now on Nebula, just like every single episode it's out is out one week early on Nebula. So it's, uh, it's worth going and watching over there. But there's also a lot of other reasons to watch Nebula. Uh, one thing you might want to check out on Nebula after you've gone and watched the next episode, of course, is uh, Lindsay Ellis did this great original piece on Guy Fieri, the ups and downs of Guy Fieri's notoriety. Um, Obviously, we got a little reference to Guy Fieri in this episode, and if you want to learn more about Guy Fieri's career, uh, that is perhaps one of the most comprehensive uh, versions of it that I've ever seen. And Lindsay Ellis also like only posts stuff on Nebula now, so if you want to see any of her stuff, you gotta you gotta go to Nebula. I never knew I wanted to know this much about Guy Fieri. I did. I always no. Did. You did. Okay. Yeah. Well. And there's actually a lot of stuff you can only see on Nebula, and there's more and more by the day. Nebula is actually releasing its biggest ever slate of originals, more originals than they've ever put out at this pace before. And it's really great stuff. These are like big budget, unique projects from independent creators. Part of what Nebula does is, you know, we have all these YouTube creators who make really, really great stuff on super low budgets. So if you give them a bigger budget, then they make incredible things. We can pop up some of the things that are, are, are happening on Nebula now, all of the different originals that are coming out. They're very exciting from all kinds of creators. Creators, a lot of them, you probably already watch their stuff on YouTube. You could watch their passion projects on Nebula. They're really good. And I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. It's not going to come out for a while. But we are working on like a really Kind of big Nebula original. Uh, <laughs> big and secret. That's all we can say about so it, is we, that it's big yeah. and secret. It's for sure is a secret. It might be good. Could be. We'll see. That's Find a secret. That's Either a secret. way, it's probably, you probably want to see it. Either if it's good or a disaster. Uh, but, you know, TLDR, there's like bajillion reasons to be on Nebula. Bajillions. Bajillions. And, and, you know, even if, you know, the jet lag stuff alone isn't convincing enough, there's so much good, unique stuff coming out all the time. And you know what? If you use our link, little secret for you, nebula.tv slash jetlag, you'll get 40% off, which brings that down to how much? Well, Sam, it's $30 a year, which is about that? $250 a month. But what about like daily? I mean, you would be looking at 10 cents a That's day. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. A bit. Wow. Less than half a cent an hour. What? I have so many half cents. Where? In his pockets. No. Oh. You won't show us? No. Okay. Anyway, go to nebula.tv slash jetlag to sign up, and thanks in advance for your support. Bye.